So I got my hands on Xiaomi's Note 8 Pro smartphone, part of their Redmi lineup. And looking at it, and then looking at my iPhone 11 Pro Max, I saw a lot of hints pointing to a comparison. I mean, they both have Pro in their name, they both have 6.5 inch displays, they both have notches, both of them have big batteries, and most of all, they have triple camera arrays on the back. What's the biggest difference, you might ask? Well, the Note 8 Pro costs as much as the iPhone's screen repair. Remember that throughout the video. Hey guys, this is E, and let's take a look at both of these very different devices and see how they stack next to each other. Of course, I'll focus primarily on the Redmi phone, so you can consider this pretty much a review of the Note 8 Pro. So the Redmi Note 8 Pro comes packed with specs and although I was a bit skeptical at first, I have to admit that I'm quite impressed with what Xiaomi pulled off with this device. But before I tell you all the good things about it, let me tell you my biggest annoyances while I was testing it. And remember, this phone costs less than iPhone 11's screen repair. So it doesn't have stereo speakers leading to the sound coming only from the bottom firing grill. So the produced sound is not impressive at all. Also, the phone is not water resistant and has no wireless charging capabilities. The screen is Full HD only and it's not OLED, but by far my biggest annoyance with it is the embedded operating system ads. I have no idea why would someone do that, but this alone is something that could make or break a deal with a phone like this. Perhaps there's an option to remove them or maybe there could be a clean software installation, but out of the box, me no likey. Moving on to the good stuff, the overall design and feel of the phone is great. It's a tad bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but it's definitely lighter and it feels good in the hand. There's no edge or waterfall display to worry about and the ergonomics are quite nice. In fact, it is a way less slippery phone than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Note 8 Pro comes in three color shifting variants, Shadow Black, Gamma Green and Halo White. Gamma Green, Hulk might like that. My phone, however, perhaps it's a region-specific thing, comes with this mineral gray color. In the package, it arrives with a silicon case, 18-watt fast charge brick, and a USB-C cable. No headphones this time around, but get this. This phone, unlike the iPhone 11 Pro, has a headphone jack. The battery on the Redmi Note 8 is 4500 mAh compared to the iPhone's close to 4000. And it's plenty big to get you throughout the day while throwing in more serious gaming. Xiaomi claims 10 hours of gaming, but I cannot confirm that because I'm not much of a gamer myself. Talking about gaming, the phone comes with Helio G90T gaming processor with some liquid cool technology, which means that even the heavy title should keep the device nice and chilled during those gaming sessions. The model that I have comes with 128GB UFS 2.1 flash storage, and all Redmi 8 Pros come with 6 gigabytes of RAM, although I saw a version with 8 gigabytes on their website. It has dual SIM option as well as a micro SD slot. The OS skin is called MIUI and it's on top of Android 9.0 and it's very iPhone-esque like and although you'll probably throw in a novel launcher, some of you might enjoy the clean resemblance with the iOS. It also has native dark mode which is always awesome. The phone's unique features is the claim that this is the first ever 64 megapixel camera phone offering 8K resolution photos. By the way, they just released a Mi Note 10 device that can shoot up to 108 megapixels. When I compare the standard photo with its 64 megapixel variant, I definitely see a file size difference, which was something I was expecting. But what I didn't expect is all the difference that it makes when I actually zoomed in. I took both phones for a day and walked around to snap side-by-side -side photos and maybe help you decide 
how close does the Redmi 8 Pro comes to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the Redmi also has triple camera array, but it's different from the iPhone's one, offering standard wide angle, a 64 megapixel primary sensor and a 2 megapixel macro lens. In addition, there's also a dedicated depth sensor. Both phones have post-editing gimmicks like bokeh blur adjustment, creative portraits, and the Redmi phone even has night mode just like the iPhone. When I tested the night mode on the Redmi, I was honestly surprised at the end results. Although it doesn't rely so much on AI, but rather on simple long exposure techniques. Still, in comparison, the Redmi phone is doing quite honorably for its price. I'll let you be the judge for that. So if you put it side by side to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, you'll definitely tell that one is a premium phone while the other is a premium wannabe. But the more accurate observation here would be that the Redmi Note 8 Pro is a premium budget phone. At least that's how I see it. Depending on the region that you live in, you'll be able to find it with prices between $240 to perhaps $350. I'll try to put Amazon links in the description below. The conclusion here is that if you're on a budget, and you're looking for a phone with decent camera, great battery and enough power to withstand the popular mobile games out there, the Redmi Note 8 Pro is definitely a phone that you should consider. As you can probably tell, it's definitely not an iPhone 11 Pro competitor, but it's more than worthy talking about it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you didn't like this video, feel free to dislike it, but if you enjoyed it, Consider subscribing to This Is E and becoming part of the family. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.